Have you ever wondered what would happen if the sun exploded? A fascinating, albeit chilling, question. To tackle it, we first need to understand the nature of the sun itself. You see, our sun, that bright, warm, life-giving ball in our sky, is actually a star, and it's currently in a stage of its life known as the main sequence. During this stage, the sun, like all stars, is burning hydrogen into helium at its core. This process is known as nuclear fusion, and it's what gives the sun its heat and light. But here's the catch. This hydrogen fuel won't last forever. Once the sun has exhausted its hydrogen, it will start burning helium, turning it into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. This will cause the sun to expand and become a red giant. Now, our sun is classified as a small to average size star. Stars of this size don't actually explode in a supernova, instead they shed their outer layers and leave behind a dense core, a white dwarf. But let's assume for a moment that our sun was larger, much larger. Stars that are about eight times the mass of our sun do end their lives in a spectacular explosion, a supernova. A supernova is one of the most powerful events in the universe. It's when a star, having burned through all of its fuel, collapses under its own gravity and then rebounds in a massive explosion. For a brief period, a supernova can outshine an entire galaxy. And it's in these cataclysmic events that elements heavier than iron are created. So, it's clear that the sun, like any other star, has the potential to explode. But what exactly would that look like? We'll stick around because we're about to dive into the dazzling yet devastating phenomenon of a supernova. The term for a star exploding is a supernova, a phenomenon that results from a star exhausting its nuclear fuel. Now let's dive in and try to understand the process of a star transforming into a supernova. It all starts with the star's core. As a star burns through its nuclear fuel, the core begins to shrink. But don't let this shrinking fool you. While the star's core becomes denser and hotter, the outer layers of the star expand. Over time, the core's shrinking process accelerates, and the star's outer layers continue to expand. Now this is where things get a bit tricky. You see, the core eventually becomes so dense and hot that it can no longer support the weight of the outer layers. And then, it happens. The core collapses. This isn't a slow, gradual process either. The core's collapse happens in a matter of seconds, creating a neutron star or in some cases a black hole. This collapse sends an intense shockwave rushing outwards through the star's outer layers. Picture a colossal tidal wave, if you will, but instead of water, it's pure energy. This shockwave is powerful enough to rip through the star's outer layers, causing them to explode outward into space. The energy released in this explosion is unfathomable. It's equivalent to the energy our sun would produce over its entire lifetime, all let loose in a matter of moments. So after the shockwave does its job, what's left behind is a rapidly expanding shell of gas and dust, a nebula, and the collapsed core, now a neutron star or black hole. The light from this explosion is what we see here on Earth when we observe a supernova. And there you have it, the birth of a supernova. But what does this mean for our home, the Earth? If our sun were to explode, the consequences for Earth would be catastrophic. Now, let's delve into what exactly would happen in such a scenario. Firstly, we would be hit by a sudden, intense blast of radiation. This radiation would be so powerful that it would strip away the Earth's protective ozone layer. Without this shield, harmful ultraviolet rays from the universe would freely reach the surface of our planet. This could potentially lead to a sudden and dramatic increase in skin cancer rates and other radiation-related illnesses among the remaining life forms. But that's just the immediate aftermath. As the dust settles, or rather, as the cosmic dust disperses, the longer-term effects would begin to manifest. The most glaring one, the absence of the sun's light and heat. Our sun, the life-giving star, would be extinguished and the Earth would be plunged into a perpetual darkness. This would have a domino effect on the Earth's climate. Without the sun's heat, the Earth's temperature would plummet drastically. This sudden drop in temperature would freeze the surface of our world, turning it into a barren, icy wasteland. This cold, dark existence would make survival for any life form extremely challenging. Moreover, without sunlight, photosynthesis would cease, leading to a collapse in the food chain. Plants, the primary producers in the food chain, would die off, causing a ripple effect up the food chain, eventually leading to a mass extinction event. Further, the absence of the sun would also mean the loss of gravitational pull that currently keeps our planet in orbit. Without this, Earth could be sent hurtling into the depths of space on a lonely, aimless journey through the cosmos. 
the loss of our sun would undoubtedly mean the end of life as we know it on Earth. Without our life-giving star, our planet would be left a cold, lifeless sphere, drifting aimlessly through the endless expanse of space. But even after the initial explosion, the aftermath of a supernova would continue to impact the universe. Following the explosive demise of a star, what remains is a dense, hot core. If the mass of this core is about one and a half times that of our sun, it will shrink down to a size of around 20 kilometers in diameter, forming a neutron star. These celestial bodies are so dense that just one teaspoon of their matter would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. However, if the core is even more massive, about three times the mass of the sun or more, even the neutrons can't withstand the gravitational pull. Instead, they collapse inward, resulting in a bottomless pit of gravity, a black hole. These mysterious entities are so powerful that not even light can escape their grasp. Moving beyond the remnants of the star, the aftermath of a supernova also has broader implications for the universe. The explosion propels a shockwave into space, carrying with it the outer layers of the star. This stellar debris, rich with elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, is scattered throughout the cosmos. These elements, cooked up in the heart of the star, are the building blocks of new stars and planets. In fact, we and everything we know are made of stardust. The iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, the oxygen we breathe, all these elements were once part of a star that exploded long ago. So the aftermath of a supernova while devastating is also a process of rebirth. It's a cosmic cycle of death and creation, a testament to the constantly evolving nature of the universe. As we contemplate the power and beauty of this process, we are reminded that we are not separate from the universe, but a deeply integral part of it. So while the explosion of our sun would be disastrous for Earth, it would also be a cosmic event of incredible power and beauty.